All right, so the AC on my 2013 Model S is not working, and to troubleshoot, what I've done is, uh, first I checked the DC to DC converter, which is behind the wheel well right here. There's a couple of good videos on how to diagnose the fuse that's in the DC to DC converter and how to actually change that. And from what I understand, that's a pretty common failure point on these cars. Decently easy to change and like a $20 part or something like that. Um, and then I took it into the Tesla service center and just to see if there's any, you know, software crap that is wrong with it. Um, also before I took it into the service center, I checked that it's holding Freon at these ports here. So I hooked up my AC gauges and checked and yes, it is holding Freon, but the motor is just isn't turning on in any scenario. So I took it into the service center and told them that the AC wasn't working. I told them that I checked the DC to DC converter and that it's holding Freon and to just check first any software issues that are obviously wrong with the car. They didn't come up with anything, uh, but the AC tech that was looking at it um, said that it's throwing a bunch of temperature codes um, or temperature sensor codes, which isn't normal. <laughs> you know, if a temperature sensor fails, it should just say one temperature sensor has failed, right? So he thought it might be a wiring issue. So um, he said it was going to be $600, so about two and a half hours of labor to take off the entire dash, look behind the MCU, um, and, you know, diagnose any broken wires. And I said, nah, I'll just take it home and I'll, I'll look at it myself. I paid the $110 in labor and I figured that was worth it. Um, and I think it is worth it because I took it home. And first of all, there was already some wires here that were kind of broken that I had repaired before. So these were already broken and they were repaired when I got the car about three months ago. These were broken as well. Uh, and I resoldered those and put heat shrink on those. Didn't think of much of that. Thought it was just stuff flying up from the road. Um, and another cute clue that I found is that the trunk smelled like cat pee. It smelled really strongly of ammonia ever since I got the car. And so the Tesla service center said that it could be rodents and that a lot of people have rodent issues, especially cars that have been sitting, uh, which this one had before I bought it, it had been sitting about two years. So anyway, there's a thermal control unit that's supposed to be up under here somewhere. And so I'm looking around for any broken wires and let's see if I can show this, but these are the AC lines going to some pressure sensor or maybe a temperature sensor. And <laughs> these wires don't go anywhere. So just like this temperature sensor or pressure sensor, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but there's one down there you see with one screw on it, uh, feeding on the AC lines. And then that goes to this plug here and it goes into these lines that are already repaired. Uh, I think this repair is fine, so I haven't done anything to it but I'm gonna fix those wires back there and check them. But anyway, the service center said that it's pretty common uh, this time of year, it's uh, spring, you know? So if the cars were sit sitting during the winter, um, rodents can come in and chew up the wires and apparently this is a common problem that they see this time of year. So check your wiring. If something isn't working at all or you're getting a lot of error codes, check your wiring. I'm gonna fix the wiring and, and report back. So I got the AC working finally after like two months. Uh, so what I had to do was just fix the wires. So that's called the chiller actuator, something like that. There's another one down here, like I was saying, next to the AC compressor. Um, but basically, yeah, I fixed the wires. I don't think these wires are, uh, there's any polarity to them. I think they're the same because I'm pretty sure it's just going to a coil uh, inside of that actuator that opens and closes and I don't I don't think the polarity should matter for that just so you know uh, but what I did is the uh, You know you hold down both of the buttons on the steering wheel reset and that didn't change anything but when I disconnected the fireman's loop and disconnected the positive terminal or uh, That's the negative terminal, right? Yeah, the negative terminal of the battery and let it sit for like a minute and then plugged it back on and turned on the AC it worked 
So that's how I fix my AC. Check your chiller actuator valves. <laughs> kind of a weird issue, but maybe this will help somebody. Thanks for watching.